Hi guys! I am filming my photo card collection video today, so I have quite a lot of binders now. Um, I had two last time. Well, okay. Last time I filmed like a full photo card collection video was in November, and then I filmed my Monsta X one again back in May, and now I'm doing a full one again. So um, I have a friend who has been waiting for my collection video for a really, really long time now, so I'm sorry girl, it's finally happening. That package I was waiting for finally came in. Um, yeah, so I have four binders. Um, this one is CD plates. This is my large Monstax cards, my smaller Monstax cards. And then this is everybody who is not Monstax. I only collect Monstax cards, but I do keep cards that I get in my other albums and stuff. And so, yeah, I'm gonna start with this one. And then we'll get into all of the Monster X stuff. So. Um, this binder is the same one that I had last time. This collection really has not changed a whole lot since I last filmed um, my photo card collection back in November. But I did want to include this anyway. There are a few new things in here, so I figured might as well. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the same binder. And this binder is still just as messy as it was last time. So I'm sorry, this one's not very like organized and pretty, but I haven't really bothered to put a whole lot of effort into it because I just don't want to. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, it's organized alphabetically and I'll just say the name of each group. And yeah, if you want to know a specific card, feel free to ask and I will let you know what the card is. So uh, starting over here with this thing, um, this is from an Oh My Girl album. This was something that I got when I bought a photo card off of somebody. They had like wrapped the card in this, so it was all folded and um, I accidentally ripped it when I opened it up because I didn't realize that it was from an album. Otherwise I would have tried to not rip it, but too late. Um, I mean, it's already folded, so it's not like it's in good condition anyway, but I decided to keep it and so it hangs out in here because I haven't got around to putting it in a sleeve yet because I keep forgetting I need to. But, you know, one day I might do that. But okay, on to the photo cards. So here is two 4K. Then I have four minute. And then B184. B184 is going to come back soon and I'm really, really excited. I've missed them. And then more B1A4. Um, I have concert tickets in here from when I go to see groups, so I saw B1A4 this year and I had high touch, so there's my wristband. Um, here is BAP. Then I have Bestie, who makes me sad because two of them just left the group and I was really wanting them to come back. I wasn't holding a whole lot of hope that they would, but like I still really wanted it and now I'm not gonna get it. And I'm just really sad because they deserved so much better than what they got. Um, anyway, here is Block B, and then I have Boys Republic, and BTS, which is the largest section in this binder. Um, everything in here was either pulled or like I bought an unsealed album or whatever, and that was the card that came with it. Um, the only cards that I bought were this J-Hope card, and then the Dark and Wild postcards, which you'll see in a second. I really need to switch this card with this card because this one came out first, but I haven't done that because I keep forgetting. But yeah, anyway, um, I did buy these two because I had a second press album and I just really wanted the cards. So I bought them on um, eBay a few years back. Pretty much got all of these sleeves from Walmart in case anybody was curious, except for these two pocket ones. I bought them on Amazon because I can't find two pocket sleeves in real life for some reason. They just don't seem to exist except for the internet. And then more concert tickets. Um, here is FX. Luna is going to release an album too and I'm really excited because her first album is amazing and I cannot wait to hear her new songs. Here's Girls Day. And then Infinite who makes me sad because Hoya I don't know, I feel like all my groups are like falling apart. Everybody's leaving and everybody's disbanding and it's not, it's not a good time to be a K-pop fan. It's 
especially when you got into K-pop five years ago, and so all the groups that you knew when you got into there are like gone, or getting close to being gone. Anyway, um, this is Kuna Kun, Mama Moo, Midnight Muses. And then here's New East and Red Velvet and some Romeo, Song Jun, who is put in here under secret. Speaking of secret, where the hell are they? I heard rumors that they were going to come back like months ago and then it never happened. And so I just want to know what's going on with them. I know Sunhua left, but that was quite a while ago and they haven't done anything since then. And they didn't really do anything before then either for a, quite a long time. Like I said, all my groups are falling apart. Here's 17. And Shiny. Shiny better not fall apart. I know Onu's having issues, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, Shu I. I got two cards in my album. Um, I'm willing to sell the second one if anybody wants to buy it. I'll sell it for pretty cheap because I know like nobody's looking for these cards because this group disbanded forever ago. But, like, I really don't need two of these, so if you want it, hit me up. Um, Soshi, or SNSD, as they're in under here. Um, Snooper. And Stellar. Then here's Super Junior. Here is up tension. Fix. And then I have WJSN at the back here. And that is every non monster X photo card that I own. It's not very much. Well, I don't know. It seems like quite a lot because it's all really spaced out, but like if I consolidated all these cards, it would take up a lot less space. But yeah, I'm happy with these cards. Okay, moving on to my Monster X cards. Um, so they take up three binders now. Um, they really only take up two, but they did CD plates and I keep them in this one. So um, I only keep my Monster X CD plates in here. I do have one CD plate that is not for Monster X. It is a Vic CD plate from Voodoo and it's Leo. And that one's out in my car, which I should bring it back inside because my CD player in my car broke. So it's not really doing anything out there, but I haven't got around to moving them in yet, and it's been like six, no, no, it's not been that long. Maybe it has been like six months since it broke. I don't know, it's been a long time. Um, but anyway, so last time I filmed my Monstax car collection video, I only had one binder that was this size, and I kept everything in it, and um, it was full. As you can see, this one is pretty full now, and uh, this one... It has quite a bit of space left in it, but it's also still got quite a bit of stuff in it, so. Yeah, I got a lot more cards since May, because Monstex doesn't know how to stop. So I, um, oh, this binder. This is actually for scrapbooking. Um, I needed a binder that was, like, fairly tall and also fairly wide, because some of their cards don't fit into a binder this size. And this was like the only option, so this is what I went with. It's a bit too long for my liking. I wish it was a couple inches shorter, but it is what it is. And, you know, it works, so I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to start with my CD plates. So they only did them for Shine Forever. Thankfully, I really don't want them to do CD plates again because I just don't want to deal with them. They're kind of annoying to try and collect because, like, most people don't want to sell an album without a CD. There are people who do, which is why I managed to find all of them, but, like, still. And then if you buy extra copies, you can't sell your albums because they don't have CDs anymore. Which is the problem I have. But, yeah, there we go. CD plates. Okay. I'm going to start with this binder now. This is my um, 
regular size cards sell all the nine pocket sleeve cards and I also keep stickers in here and then at the end I have a little section from when I went to go see them in concert and yeah we'll just get right into it just let me situate this thing nicely I can never tell if things are crooked or not on my camera I think it's okay we're gonna go with it um so I start with albums I have Everything from Trespass, including the gold card. These seven are um, actually Taiwan Press, so I kind of cheated with Trespass. Because um, the Taiwan Press came with all seven cards. So I just bought that one and didn't bother collecting the Korean Press because they're exactly the same. So it didn't really seem worth it. Um, yeah, I have an extra I am here because I do, I do have a copy of the Korean Press album. And I pulled him and he is my bias, so I'm going to keep him. And also there's no group card for this set, so... He fills in the empty pocket nicely, and I've never been able to pull his card besides the, when I got this album, so I cannot ever let this card go. Uh, here is Rush Official, and then Rush Secret, then a Lost, the Lost version. I finally got my hands on the black card. I've been looking for it forever, but it's here now, and it's in my collection, and oh my gosh. Last time I said it was my Holy Grail card, but now I need to find a new Holy Grail card. Actually, I have a couple Holy Grail cards now, but still, I don't have to worry about this one anymore. Here is Found. Then, um, starting with Guilty Era, I kind of haven't really finished, like, anything for album cards. Um, I'm not looking to buy anything from album cards right now. They're just not priority for me, so one day I'll finish them, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, but I do have the blue card for Guilty. And Innocent I did complete. And then we go back to not being complete with Beautiful. I do have I Am on the way, though. Then here is Brilliant. Then Beside. Here is Shine Forever. And the Complete X Clan. And then starting from here on, we have concert photo cards. So this is X Clan Origins. Then here is Beautiful and Soul Set A. Um, I didn't mention I meant to mention it, but I forgot to. I do plan to replace all these sleeves in the near future. And um, as you can see, like I put white papers in the spots that don't have cards because I don't like being able to see through the sleeve onto the next. But um, as we get further along into this, you can see I kind of like gave up on that. So it gets a little bit messy. But since I want to replace the sleeves, and I also want to replace these black like placeholder thingies, um, I just haven't really got around to making my binder look pretty near the end. So hopefully next time I film this, it'll be nicer looking. But yeah, here is set A. And then set B. This is my baby picnic. And then broadcast cards. I have All In, Fighter, these are the individual ones, and then the unit ones. I'm actually just missing Hyungwon and Wanho. Um, I have these four on the way, and so yeah, if anybody's selling the Hyungwon and Wanho one, which is not likely because that one's really sought after and hard to find, um, hit me up because I am interested in buying that one because I really want to finish this set. Um, yeah, here's the rest of them. This one in the middle is from Kiana Minhyuk's Memories in November exhibition. Um, there's an empty pocket, so I put it in here because this is just a little one-off card. And I actually think it fits really nicely because it's also from Fighter Era and it's a unit card. So I think it's cute. And it kind of makes like a frame on the back. And I like it. Um, yeah, anyway, beautiful. I have three of them. These aren't really priority for me. So I haven't finished it yet. I don't know, if anybody's selling these for, like, you can make me an offer, I might not buy them. Just because they're not something I'm really looking to get at this second. But, you know, I do want to get them at some point. Shine Forever! Here is set A. And this is what I mean by I gave up on my sleeves. <laughs> I just didn't even bother to put papers in there. Here's set B. I do have Young One coming, so I have actually finished the set. He's just not here yet. And then the fan sign set. Um, 
I have two Minhyuks, as you can see. Um, I'm not selling one of them yet. I'm still trying to get my hands on Kihyun. I think I found somebody who's going to sell him to me. I'm not 100% sure yet. It's a little up in the air. But there's a good chance that I've got him coming. Wanho is on the way for sure. But um, yeah, I'm not going to sell this extra Minhyuk until I get Kihyun's. So there's that. And then uh, fan club membership photo cards from 1st gen and 2nd gen. Then Japanese cards. Here is Hero, the uh, full set. And then Beautiful. I have one hose card, which I pulled from my album. Um, I actually managed to find the set for like a crazy cheap on ja uh, Yahoo Auctions. So I do have all of them coming. Um, yeah, the price was ridiculously good, so I couldn't pass it up. And then, um, broadcast messages from Beautiful. Yeah, I have most of the red set. I'm missing Juhan, so if anybody has Juhan for a good price, um, let me know. I have, like, a range in mind that I would like to pay. So, yeah, I just, I do really want him, though. I want to finish this set. Green set, I don't have any of those yet. I will eventually get them, I hope. <laughs> Pink set from the fan sign that they had. Yeah, I have Keycon coming, but I haven't been able to get IMs yet, so if anybody's selling IMs, hit me up. I know there's multiple versions for the pink one for sure. I'm not sure about the other colors, but I'm only collecting one per color per member, just because if I try to get like all of them, that'd be too much, and I don't even know how many there are in total. So one per color per member is fine with me. It's more for an aesthetic thing anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm still missing I am. So if anybody has an I am one and they want to sell it or if they know somebody who is selling it, hit me up because I want that card. Then stickers. Here are the stickers from their albums. Beautiful. And then the Shine Forever small ones. Then here are the larger ones from Shine Forever. Um, I actually made this sleeve because I really wanted these in my album, but they don't fit into like a pre-made sleeve. So I had to cut up a full page sleeve to make this. Um, I did post on Instagram quite a few months ago about, like, me making sleeves, and somebody did ask me to make a video on how I do it. Um, I haven't had to make any sleeves for quite a while. I feel like this is crooked again. Ugh, I give up. Anyway, um, I haven't had to make any sleeves for a while, so I haven't made that video yet. If you guys are interested in seeing how I do it, like, feel free to let me know, because it'll give me more motivation to do it, I guess. Um... But yeah, I have quite a few custom-made sleeves in my other Monstux binder, and I will point those out when we get to them. But yeah, if you guys want to know how I do it, and the way I do it is actually like super cheap and easy, so if you're on a budget, it's good. Um, but yeah, anyway, broadcast stickers from Beautiful Era. Then concert sticker sets. Here is X Clan Origins. Um, I just put white papers behind them in order to make my binder look a little bit nicer, so they all do still have their backs. I haven't stuck them on anything. But I just, I didn't like being able to see through the sleeve onto the next one. I thought it looked messy, so I put paper behind them. The Beautiful and Soul sticker set. Then this, uh, I believe this was given out at their Osaka showcase to fan club. Members, I'm not 100% sure, so if anybody knows for, like, sure what this is, like, let me know, because I would like to know. Um, this is my little concert section then at the very end. So, this is my ticket. It has somebody else's name on it. My name is not Christina Smith. Um, but, yeah. I, oh my god, this is the best night of my life when just looking at this little section brings back so many good memories. Um, anyway, these are my little fan. This is like the only fan made stuff in any of my binders. I don't put fan made stuff in my binders, but I wanted to keep these in here because these were given to me by people at the concert. So I was given these by somebody I traded with. And then this was, um, handed to me by a girl who was like advertising her Etsy shop. <laughs> but it's cute. So I put it in here. Um, these... These are confetti that shot out of the cannons at the end. And then this is my wristband because I had high touch and photo op. More confetti. 
this sign i made this sign like in the middle of the night the day before the concert because originally i wasn't gonna make a sign i was like no it's fine you don't need to do that and i just hit my camera like normal um but then i was like you know what i'm gonna be really close to the stage and i want my bias to know that i exist so i made this sign and i held it up and um at their little last talking session during the encore he saw it and he waved to me and I got it on camera and it is like the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. And I just, oh my god, I still die whenever I think about it. But next time I go see them, the sign is coming with me again. I wonder if he'll remember it. Probably he won't, but I can dream. Um, then I have my little Encore uh, light stick bag from the ocean that we did at the end. That is the entirety of this binder. Now we move on to my bigger one. I'm actually really happy with the way that this one is. It's almost complete, except for like all the album cards that I'm missing. But as far as like the rare broadcasty things, like I'm doing really well, guys. I'm poor now because of it, but it's okay. It's worth it. So here is my bigger binder. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, I need to situate this thing. Um, yeah, okay. No. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know, guys. I'm not good at making this look pretty. Anyway. We start off with my Rush Fan Sign cards, because I didn't really know where to put them, because they're like... They don't look like any of their other cards, so I just stuck them at the beginning here. Um... I have the official version here. I'm still missing show news, so I'm looking to buy him if anybody's selling show news. And then here is, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Here is the secret version. I'm missing I am. So if anybody's selling I am, hit me up because I really want him. Uh, Juhan is on the way. So yeah, I'm just missing two from these sets, which is insane. Um, these are scratch cards from their Japanese singles. Then here are my beautiful transparent cards. I haven't been working on these and I'm not planning to work on them yet. But I, uh, I got one more in here since I last filmed my collection video in May. And then I also have one on the way, which I hadn't anticipated buying it, but like is being sold with some other things that I wanted. So I ended up getting it. Um, but yeah. These are just the ones that I have. I, the one that I have on the way is... Well, no, wrong one. It's one of Wanho's beautiful ones. Don't remember which one. I think it's the one with his heart, like his hand, like on this side. So it'd go here. I don't know. Anyway, I have one on the way. <laughs> this is the only new one. Otherwise, everything in here was in here last time. I do really want to finish these. It'll be very rewarding when I do because there's a lot of them and they're not hard to find by any means, but it just takes a long time to get them all. Here is my Mon Bebe second generation garland from their fan club membership kit. And then I have the one for the photo set. The one for the postcard set. This is the X Clan Origins postcard set. Oh, whoa, I totally spaced out. Sorry. This is the Beautiful and Soul set A. <laughs> okay, yeah. And this is set B. Then uh, the Mom Tori's DVD postcards. I made these sleeves too. I really wanted them in my binder. And so these were actually the very first sleeves that I made. And one of the biggest reasons why I started making custom made sleeves was because of these cards. Because I just really, really wanted them to be in my binder. 
This is a, a Japanese postcard from their official Japanese shop given to people who bought the um, album from there. And then these are the extra postcard sets that were released during Beautiful Era. So this is the beautiful version. Oh, I did make these sleeves too. And then the brilliant version. As you can see, I put a lot more effort into my Monstex binder than I do into my non-Monstex binder. Because I'm garbage. Here is the beside set. And then these next few sleeves, I have M waves up in the corner. I have them all from Lost and Guilty. And then, yeah, we'll talk about Beautiful in a bit. Um, but here is the Mon Baby Picnic postcards. Keena Min Hyuk's Exhibition postcards. The um, 2016 Season's Greetings postcards. And then the ones from 2017. This is the Shine Forever Japanese Shop bonus postcard. Then, there's a really loud bird outside my window. It's just like hanging onto the side of my window. Okay, anyway, um, these are the beautiful oaths. And then I have my um, bonus Japanese postcards from Hiro. Uh, yeah, I had to make these sleeves too because like look at these postcards. These are like the most ridiculous sized things ever. Um, these were really annoying to make though because I made them out of 12 by 12 sleeves and I cut off the bottom and the top and normally I just cut off the side and I did cut off the side for these two but like it was not fun. So if I do make a custom photo card sleeve how-to video, um, I'm not gonna do it with these which is unfortunate because um, I need to make more of these because of the beautiful ones. But um, yeah, these were a pain to make, so I'm not going to do it with these. Um, I would like to mention I have only ever made two pocket sleeve um, custom photo card sleeves. So that's the only one I will show you guys how to make because I've never tried to make anything else. And I'm not going to pretend that I know how to do it right off the bat. Okay. Oh my god, my foot is asleep. This happens like every time I film anything. My feet fall asleep. <laughs> Alright. This is this is just my little like random cards that I don't have a good place to put them, so they just ended up here. I'm having my temperature bookmarks. Um what's your guys' advice on something? Should I put paper behind them so they like show up a bit more? Because I kind of feel like I should. But I feel like it would look really weird just to have like these two sleeves have paper behind them and then not like the rest of it doesn't. But I don't know. I can't decide. Um, okay. Then down here, this is a Tower Records photo card from Rush Era. Um, I really don't know if Tower Records photo cards are considered official or not. So if anybody knows, let me know. Because I know like a lot of times places that sell CDs will just like make their own cards and give them to people like Choice Music LA does that and like K-Town for you and K-Pop Mart and all that but like I feel like Tower Records ones are different because I've seen them give out freebies with like pictures that I definitely have never seen before and that makes me feel like the companies are like giving Tower Records like photos and being like hey make cards out of these but I really don't know so if anybody knows hit me up and Tell me, because I'm curious. <laughs> this is from the One Friday card case. And then this is Wanho's M-Wave card for Beautiful. So, um, as you guys saw, I collected Lost and Guilty, but I'm pretty convinced that I'm going to give up on M-Wave cards now. Just because they are a freaking nightmare to collect. I cannot find them for the life of me. And anytime I do find them, they're like always sold before... I can like message whoever's selling them to buy it like seriously they sell so freaking fast and it's frustrating as all hell so um yeah if 
I do want IMs though. So if anybody's selling IMs, hit me up. Um, but I might be willing to trade this one for him. I'm not going to sell him. I would actually prefer to buy IMs and trade. But if it comes down to it, then yeah. So if anybody wants to, let me know. Um, here are my A4 size things. These are the, la Ugh, these are the last things in my binder. Um, so this is the Memories of November A4. I finally get to put it in my binder. This is one of the reasons why I needed a new binder. Because this thing is too tall for a normal size one. And I was like hell bent on getting it put in my binder. So now it's in here. And then last but not least, I have my Shine Forever mini posters. So Shanu and One Hall. Minhyuk Minhyuk's drives me a little crazy because he's the only one facing the opposite direction from the rest of them. All of them are facing like this, except for Minhyuk. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear it. There's a rattling noise. Um, one of my light cover fixture thingies on my ceiling, it's been like rattling for two days now and it's really nerve wracking because I don't know why it's doing it and I don't know how to make it stop and it never used to do it and so I feel like it's probably gonna like fall to the floor and shatter all over everything and I don't want it to do that but yeah it's it, yeah I don't I don't I don't know it's just very unnerving but it won't stop and it's probably getting picked up by my camera anyway um yeah Minhyuk and Kihan Ben Hyunwon Juhan and I am. I am's also drives me a little crazy because his Monster X logo is on the front while the rest of theirs are on the back. But it is what it is, I guess. So there is all of it, guys. My entire photo card collection as of September, I believe it's the 10th. It's a Sunday. And I'm pretty sure it's the 10th. Um, but yeah, that is my entire Monsex collection. Uh, I, actually, my entire photo card collection. So, there we go. Um, yeah, if you're selling any of the cards that I mentioned wanting to buy, hit me up. Because I really want them. And I do have that one card for sale, but I don't think anybody wants that card. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. And then, yeah, I have that one card that is possibly for trade. There we go. Oh. Ugh, okay, there. Good enough. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next time I film one of these, um, I don't know when I'll ever film this one again because I don't expect this to change a whole lot anytime soon. I would like to start buying albums from other groups again, but money, and so yeah. We'll see. And then um, my Monstax one, I don't plan to film this again until I do my collection video in May, but we'll see. Just depends on how much stuff they release. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful day.